Is 2D animation a dying industry? That's the question I want to talk about today. I want to explore the different answers I could give because it's a very big question. A uh, quick announcement before we get fully into it. Next week I will be bringing out quite a special video and the source file will be available to purchase as well. So make sure that you are tuned in next Friday to watch the video. So back to the topic. My short answer is no, it's not dying. Um, it is evolving though, it is changing. And so we need to be aware of what we should do to adapt to that. I am very positive about the state of the animation industry currently for 2D. Also because 2D is somewhat tethered to all forms of animation, including 3D and stop motion, a lot of what I'm saying will be about the animation industry as a whole and not just 2D. So just keep that in mind. First of all, I'm going to cover some of the reasons to suggest that 2D animation is dying. The main one that people think of is this. Big players in the animation world such as Walt Disney Pictures and DreamWorks have switched almost entirely to creating 3D animated feature films and I think that this is the root of most people's fears about the 2D animation industry dying uh, because they're, le they're seeing less successful 2D animated features in box offices. Disney even announced that 2D animation was dead at one point, which is not very encouraging. Now, if we turn our attention to the internet for a moment, uh, Newgrounds.com, which is an animation streaming platform, is said by many to be past its golden age on the internet, largely due to their integrity of free speech and freedom of expression, which has gotten them into a lot of trouble over the years, actually. And Tom Folt, the founder of Newgrounds, wrote a public explanation of the challenges Newgrounds faced and their struggle to find sponsors. I think that Newgrounds plays a bigger role in the animation industry than most people expect. And it's perhaps the largest known public archive of animations. It's a training ground and a safe haven on the internet for the new generation of animators. So seeing Newgrounds lose its capital and its popularity and influence is quite discouraging. In the broader public perception, a majority, it seems, of the Western public still holds the perception that 2D animation is only to be watched by children or at artsy film festivals. And this is thought to mainly be caused by the huge legacy of Disney and Warner Brothers. Most animators are really tired of this public perception and had hoped that it would have gone away by now. So there are the main points to suggest that 2D could be dying. Uh, that I came up with, but now I'm going to turn my attention to more positive notes and try and convince you guys that the 2D animation industry is not at all dying. And I'm going to try and do that on four main battlegrounds. Feature films, advertising, TV and the internet. There are other aspects of 2D animation such as in gaming, which is actually being really successful as well, but I'm not going to focus attention on that for this episode. So for feature films, 2D feature films are being made and it doesn't take much searching to find them. Some that just come to mind are Nerdland, uh, The Boy and the World, April and the Extraordinary World, Song of the Sea, The Prophet are some of the recent ones that I can think of. These are all original, expressive, amazing 2D animated films that are getting made and produced. One theory in the West is that 2D animation in feature films is waiting for a comeback film in just the same way that Toy Story caused an industry shift to 3D animated stories. Perhaps we need a 2D animated feature that is going to get mainstream success, which will then create a shift to 2D. It's possible that that could happen. And that's just one of the theories. Now let's look at advertisement. 2D animation continues to thrive in commercial advertisement. It's actually hard to get away from if you're watching any kind of commercials. This is often a 2D animation industry sector that's completely overlooked by a lot of people because we're just used to it. Studio K and Passion Pictures, uh, these commercial studios are thriving and their 3D to 2D animation output seems to be more or less split down the middle. So many corporate clients seek them out looking for a caring handmade touch for their brand. And these studios, just these two are uh, just examples of that, but there are loads more. They are making a huge profit by providing that to corporate brands. In television, the evidence for 2D animation is also very clear that it's alive and well. 
I'm going to quote Charles Kenny for this one. Switch on any TV station with animation and 2D is more than likely what you'll find. Any Sunday on Fox will have the traditional look that was established with The Simpsons and continues all the way through to the forthcoming Borderlands. Both Cartoon Network and Disney have stayed with 2D for their biggest shows and even Nickelodeon, which has dabbled with 3D CGI, has come back around to 2D for hits like Legend of Korra. Comedy Central even increased their animated presence with the revival of Futurama and original show Brickleberry. While many are no longer drawn on paper and cells, they are still drawn by hand to a greater extent than 3D, CGI or Flash. Charles Kenny is an amazing uh, blog writer, by the way, and you can find his blog posts at animationanomaly.com. In fact, I'm going to let him talk about the internet as well uh, and animation on the internet because I think he sums it up exceptionally well. The web is, for want of a better word, awash with 2D animation in just about any shape and size you can imagine. It's the de facto style for the simple reason that it's cheap and quick to produce. Who knew 2D animation is flexible? I think that's meant to be sarcastic there. <laughs> True, plenty of it lacks finesse and quality execution, but the more expensive shows like Bravest Warriors hint that 2D animation will continue to play a role as the medium develops. One of the side questions to uh, is 2D a dying industry is, is 2D being eaten by 3D animation? Um, my answer is that it's not. 2D has different strengths to 3D. It's much more flexible and an expressive medium with a shorter production pipeline, meaning that animation needs to be passed through less people before it's actually ready to be shown. Even if somehow 3D did completely eat 2D animation, core elements of 3D animation require 2D design. These are things like storyboarding, character design, set designs, textures, so 2D cannot really completely die without the complete extinction of all animation. Just look behind the scenes of Pixar and see how much 2D artwork they pump out for a 3D feature film. This brings me to my other point. 2D animation is not going to die because it is extremely effective. It remains an extremely effective way to efficiently convey stories and complex ideas to other people. The possibilities with 2D animation are almost limitless. If you can imagine it, it can be done. That's the kind of freedom you don't get with other animation mediums or film mediums. It would be very strange to see a young medium with so much potential die out so early. I just can't see it happening. Interestingly, there have been a number of notable mixed medium films where 2D and 3D have been merged together. Um, examples like Paper Man and Feast being the most popular. Although personally, I think that the methods adopted in these films are very convoluted in their way to achieve a 2D look. They required a massive budget and they used proprietary software. It was essentially a very expensive and beautiful science project because I don't see it really going anywhere in the industry. Other examples are the Bear and the Hare, very successful commercial which used stop motion with hand-drawn animation and feature films such as Kung Fu Panda have 2D cutscenes within the film so you see that 2D and 3D are mixing together which is very interesting. There is a public perception right now that 2D animation is much more costly than 3D animation but this is not true. All animation mediums are expensive and yet animation is a thriving industry in general. So cost is not the reason, it's more a case of public perception and the fashion right now within film consumers. Public perception does change over time and the main driver of 2D public perception will be innovative new creations made by artists that ignite the imagination of people around the world. My argument is that 2D animation is not dying, it's changing. People are fixated on the feature film industry when the film industry might not actually be the future of animation as a medium. In the future we could see 2D animation move further into short films, commercials, TV shows, phone apps, music videos or even tiny video formats such as Vines which are really popular on mobile devices now. It's also likely that we'll see a democratization of animation in its creation, distribution and consumption. 
We're seeing this more and more with streaming platforms on the internet. We're seeing hardware and software widely available to the public at very affordable prices. And films are being distributed completely by the internet and it's removed this bureaucracy that was in place in the feature film industry. Not only that, but we're seeing animation in 2D take centre stage on new streaming websites such as Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Instant Video. Although YouTube's algorithms seriously stifle animated content on the internet, there are cases of highly successful animated series on YouTube, such as Simon's Cat. We're also seeing crowdfunding websites provide animators with the capital that they need to continue creating content. Who knows where this will go in the future, maybe crowdfunding will play more of a role or maybe it's a fad which will just die out. But for now, websites like Patreon are providing animators with enough money to make animation their full-time career. And this is independent of production companies or studios. If we look at the animation industry from a perspective of supply and demand, the animation industry will only remain as an industry in 2D, that is, if it meets the demands of businesses and people. As people in the animation industry, we need to be looking out for new ways to innovate and ways to occupy new video sharing platforms. Animation remains an extremely effective method of communication and animation has the ability to entertain in a similar way that film entertains but in my opinion it has less of the restrictions that conventional film does. The main downfalls of course are that animation is a costly method of film production and there is a public perception of animation which we'd rather not have. We want uh, more people to be open to watching and consuming animation the animation industry is not staying the same. We need to change with the times or become useless. And that kind of goes for any industry that you see today. To maximize your chances, you have to stay ahead of the curve. And you have to, to some extent, give people something that they will get value out of. But my conclusion is that the 2D animation industry will probably not die for a long, long time because it's such a great medium. And you have to take into consideration that 2D animation has always been relatively small compared to live action film. So it's never been a huge medium. Even in the time of Disney, we're talking a handful of studios reaching mainstream success. So it's my belief that we're actually in a golden age of animation right now. So I'm really optimistic of where it goes, but we need to stay alert to what's happening around us. Here's my advice to new animators. If you are considering learning animation because you like it and you enjoy it, don't let doubts about the health of the animation industry change your decision. Why is this? Well, because there are so many different industries you can sidestep into when you acquire the strong drawing skills and visual skills that come with animation. I mean, seriously, there are hundreds. So even if the 2D animation situation does go bad somehow, you will be able to find related work without much difficulty at all. If you guys want to read more on this topic, I have a list of suggested reading and I'll also link the sources in the description for you to go and check out yourself. Because it's such a big topic, there's probably a lot of points that I didn't mention in this, so um, feel free to leave them in the comments if you like. It's time to quickly do our animation showcase of the week. This week we've picked Renz Ekin. He's done some really nice work on some fight scene choreography. I really like the impact of a lot of the frame and the whole thing looks very fluid and you've worked in some effects animation here and it looks really nice. I can certainly see a lot of inspiration from Naruto in this one. Yeah, keep up the good work. If you'd like to be featured in the showcase, just send me a clip of your work and I'll randomly select one each week. I want to remind you guys that next week I'm bringing out a special video and the source files to go with it. So make sure you tune in on Friday next week for that. A lot of work went into this video. I did a lot of reflecting, research and preparation. So if you enjoyed it, please share the video with a friend who you think would find it interesting as well. And subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me every week. I bring one out every Friday. I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.